Here we go. Let me go here. And uh, this is my uh, Lufinia Plus video for um, the anniversary event. I have no idea how to pronounce it. It's called uh, Cres Cresvia or something like that. Cresvia Beta, I think. It, I'm not exactly sure if that's how you pronounce it. Um, this is the last stage. I think it's part 7, the one where you actually fight the, the knights. And yeah, uh, Crevacy. Cre Crevis? Uh, Crevis beta, I have no idea how to pronounce that. So yeah, this is part 7. I started off with the with what I felt was the hardest and then uh worked my way up from there. Uh so I initially brought um Queen instead of uh I have no idea how to say his name. Uh, Birdman, yeah. Instead of Birdman, so and uh it was close, it was close, I brought, I brought them down to, I believe it was red, but uh, they were doing, she started to do ones and the only person that was actually doing decent damage was Noctis and that's probably because of the ultimate weapon. So uh, switch out for, for Birdman and and he seems to be, I mean the amount of auras I guess and the amount of attack and defense down. Uh, I, I, I'm assuming there's some defense down, if not then it's a shit ton of attack. But yeah, uh, there's a, there is a lot of difference as compared to um, Queen. So, uh, for those of you who are on offense about pulling for him, then yeah, uh, this this could be a very good reason why. So around this part of the fight, Queen was still doing a bit of uh, somewhat decent damage, but I believe it was uh, towards the end that uh, she did, she was just doing uh, once. You know, it was quite sad. Even um, Cloud of Darkness was doing uh, was wasn't doing uh, much damage. Uh, so uh, you might have noticed that I, right off the bat, I did not, um, I did not use, uh, I did not grant anyone warp step. I didn't, I didn't use on um, this LD. I just hold on to it. And um, the reason why is because as with the uh, Lufinia, I believe, I think it started off with the Lufinia, and the most recent Lufinia plus, if you do not let them take a turn, uh, yeah, I believe I'm gonna reset right here because um, apparently I brought them down too low too fast. So I, I believe it was like 79% around there. So if they do not get a turn, uh, or, or basically if they don't use this move called Felix, I believe that's how you pronounce it, I have, I am probably butchering it, but yeah. So they have to use this move called Felix. Uh, it, it actually grants them a protective aura, a yellow aura, and uh, they cannot be broken unless you crit them. Uh, so. Yeah, that, that is an issue, uh, but of course if you're running someone like Prompto or Kate Sif, then yeah, you won't have, you won't, you, you know, you're not gonna have any problem with that. Because I believe Kate Sif guarantees a, a critical hit or something like that, right? It might be just his call, I'm not sure. But I know that he, that is one of his, um, uh, one of his ability, whether he's in a party or is a call, as a call is a different thing, but I know that he guarantees a critical hit. So yeah, uh, as, as you can see, uh, I, I'm going, uh, I'm letting them take a turn, there we go. That is the move that you need them to do. And there we go, superior shield deploy. And once that happens, uh, you can see the yellow aura around him. Right? So basically, A will not get broken until he gets crit. And this was actually really, really lucky. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of lucky that uh, uh, Batman is a somewhat of a healer. So yeah, that, that's the reason why I say I'm lucky. First of all, he didn't kill Noctis. Second, is that uh, I'm able to heal that damage br uh, back up. So once um, once A does that move, then the only other time that you will face any issue is I believe below the fifty percent mark, uh, when when the orb reappears again. So around forty nine percent, because the orb disappears at uh at 79, sorry, yeah, I uh, kind of blank there for a while, but yeah, the op disappears at 79% and uh, reappears again at 50%, or at least that's the, the modifier that I'm using. So, uh, hold on, just let me take a look. Uh, so, um, I, this was uh, the number 5 code uh, for the Lufinia that I was using. Uh, it, by default, I believe that this one is, yes, it's the exact same one as number 5. It's just that uh, the... Uh, what's the difference between this and number 5? 
I mean, there's no difference at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's pretty funny. But um, yeah, there's no difference at all, which is why I, I applied it. Uh, because I feel like this is the uh, one of the better stage for Noctis. Or rather, I, I honestly did not know how the thing worked until I, until I finished number 5. <laughs> so for this uh, number 5, it increases when one of your character does a follow-up attack. So when Noctis does a follow-up attack, when Cloud Darkness does a follow-up attack, uh, you will constantly uh, increase the op. So for this particular fight, the op isn't an issue. And uh, the other other way to increase it is to basically break the target, which is why Cloud Darkness is kind of there. Uh, she's able to break the target, she's able to um, follow up. She's actually kind of the perfect character for, for this particular fight. Uh, you can argue that uh, Prompto, because they are trying to sell Prompto right here. Uh, Prompto is also one of them. But yeah, um, uh, I believe he, he his, uh, his S2 is the one that is able to, to break their shield. Because uh, that was the whole idea of uh, bringing Prompto in. He's able to deal with these um, shield guys pretty easily. In fact, this is his boss, if I'm not wrong. Is it his or uh, RNA? Uh, you know, close enough, right? And they are super annoying. I hate fighting them. So uh, right here, um, <laughs> A is still unbroken and it's really, really annoying. But uh, pretty soon I'll get lucky, I'll be able to um, to break him. I believe it was Noctis that broke him. I'm not exactly sure if it was the Ultima weapon that made the difference. Uh, that, there we go. See, you, you actually saw a crit there, right? But I'm not exactly sure why he did not get broken then. Because uh, at 1, if you get a crit, uh, he should be he should break. So I'm not sure, I, I, from what I understand is that um, you get the crit and then the next turn then he gets broken which is pretty strange I'm not really sure if there's an intended mechanic or, or if Square Enix just patched it because there was a re most, there was an update after I completed the fight so yeah I'm not exactly sure if um, if they patched that or that is the, what they intended to happen so once uh, A is broken uh, I believe maybe they will take another one or th two more turns but by right um, uh, they should not be taking any more turns. At least that, that was the plan. So I, uh, I believe Noctis is about to just, you know, turn hot for a while. Uh, there we go, S2 into a follow up. Oh, I, I, I really wish that his damage was much, much better, but it's, it's sad. Man. Also, I mean, I'm probably going to save some, some of my prominence. In fact, I'm probably going to save all my prominence call for when a uh, lock comes out and then uh, give him an Ultima weapon. I don't think I'll ever refund Noctis one because, you know, <laughs> favorite character and all. So kind of wish that uh, Cloud Darkness did not uh, break B right there because I was actually trying to get all of them into. Uh, I was trying to apply warp stack onto all of them and. Uh, yeah, Cloud Darkness is uh, is out of the turn right now. So, I mean, not to worry. It, it's it's not really a big issue whether she's in or not. In fact, the f the, the the fact that she's not in the warp in the. In the you know the the, the usual warp step uh, uh, cycle, it's kind of good also because uh, it actually allows her to keep her uh, her, her burst effect on longer. Because I'm gonna burst with Noctis because uh, Cloud Darkness she drop off too much. Really. She's just there for the follow up, you know, the little bit of follow up attacks. Of course, um, oh, this this I mean another another way to do this is basically just to bring a uh, core or uh, young. You know, they will just. <laughs> Let's keep the the, the the op in check, man. It, 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 basically, if you're running the two of them, then uh, the op isn't an issue anymore. Uh, well, Noctis doing somewhat decent damage. It's kind of sad that uh, in JP right now, he's kind of the weakest character, seeing as um, his LD is the only one that has a, a 1 HP dump, you know. JP is all about the numbers, right? Everybody has multiple, multiple uh, HP dumps. Uh, millions and millions of damage right there yeah, especially with the most recent um, update of uh, Tifa right with her FR and uh, well her burst soon I guess but yeah you know she's gonna be doing millions of damage and she's not even the main character right <laughs> it's quite sad that uh, someone like Noctis in fact none of the FF15 are able to do that that kind of damage I believe even Kor Kor is not able to do that if I'm not wrong I mean let's not talk about the FR uh, moves and stuff but just his base kit he is more of a support character so yeah it's understandable that he is not able to do that kind of damage but who in 15 is supposed to be an attacker Noctis Arden um, 
I will say that Prompto is a support, you know, a, a semi tanker where he can, uh, you know, draw fire when when necessary, but not tank all the way. Uh, Gladio is just straight up tank, and uh, with the most recent update, he does damage, but uh, nothing compared to uh, what we have seen, right? Uh, who else is in fifteen? Aranea, Aranea is dead, man. I don't believe that she. That, I don't. I don't think that there was an update for her. So yeah, she she's gone. <laughs> uh, who else? Ignis. People just use him as a straight up support. Man. I mean, if P JP people still still use him at all, right? And seeing as uh, we got, uh, I mean, they have people like Luna Freya as a as a support with her BT effect and stuff. So why on earth would I want to use someone that doesn't have a BT and doesn't have an FR, right? Uh, this is just me commenting over the, 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 the fight itself. I mean, if at this point you're still doing uh, decent damage, then uh, the fight is in the back for you if, if you are able to keep the orb in check, you know. I mean, granted, uh, Cloud Nox is not able to do much damage, but Noctis is still hitting cap uh, HP damage, right? So, you know, not too bad, not too bad. And I still have the summon, you know. So turn is definitely not a problem. You know, as long as Noctis is in the in the party, turn is definitely not you know, not a problem. In fact, I was actually telling myself, I, I can actually take it easy. You know, uh, yes, I might not be able to do follow-up attacks once uh, Noctis uh, or Cloud Darkness uh, burst effect is over, but you know, I can still break them, right? It, it isn't such a big thing. So yeah, I mean, and worst come to worst, I can always go into summon, which I believe I do it pretty, pretty soon. So yeah, this, this fight is not difficult once you get their um, defense in order. Look at that, Nocturne still doing uh, Cap Grave. Oh, I, I really wish that there is uh, more damage in his burst or his um, follow-up attacks. You know, I just wish he's able to do more damage in general. Four million, four million in the BT Plus era is actually quite sad, especially since we are heading towards the C90 era where people are going to do like. Uh, what, 15, maybe tw even 20 million? I have no idea. You know, once the FR gauges starts to appear, then yeah, we'll definitely be able to do way more than that. But yeah, I mean, FF15 doesn't really have much love, huh? even though they are, f they are like, I believe it's two, right? Two global release, global first. Uh, you got uh, RNA and uh, Core. This is sad. Uh, but I believe this stage they were actually trying to sell a prompto. Uh, another 15 character, but uh, I'd rather use Noctis, right? So, yeah, um, this fight is pretty much over. Anyway, uh, since this fight is over, let's talk a bit more about um, the other stages. I plan to comment it over um, the all the Lufinia and the Lufinia pluses, uh, be it describing the stage or just straight up talking. And um, for the uh, chaos and the, uh, I believe there's a cosmos uh, uh, stage somewhere along the way as well, right? But um, yeah, those two I will record, but uh, I'll just upload it uh, uh, without commentary, you know, just just the gameplay itself. Because uh, at this part of the f uh, of the game, uh, it's pretty rare to find someone that is not able to clear uh, even chaos, right? Even new players shouldn't have an issue with chaos. Uh, seeing, especially if they have a burst or burst plus, you know, if they get their hands lucky and they're willing to, or they're willing to spend a bit, right? Then yeah, you know, I, I I can can see them uh, being able to clear chaos not without any problem, especially if they have someone, you know, a, a really good DPS, a really good uh, support. Yeah, you know, it, it shouldn't be an issue for them. So eight percent, five percent, fifteen tons on the on the orb. Only took 14 turns, you know, way more than enough time for for for, for this stage. So yeah. Anyway, this is, this was the first stage that I did. Um, I thought this was pretty difficult, and I thought the the rest would be much easier. Oh, I was wrong, man. This was actually one of the easier ones. <laughs> I mean, also because I was uh, playing around with the point system and stuff. I was I was uh, trying I was trying to understand uh, how it works, which I guess I'll be talking more in the next video, right? Because this video is already over. And Noctis gets the finishing move. No, he doesn't. Wait, I believe he does, right? Oh no, he doesn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Birdman just finishes off, finishes him off with that. Yeah, it's quite sad. I wanted Noctis to have the finishing move. Oh well, you know, who cares? The, I'm I'm done with the stage. So yeah, I'll see you in uh, part six.
which should be uploading soon.